Breaking news about anti-Trump San Francisco judge. Prison life is going to hurt by Amanda Shea for Freedom Daily. Every policy that President Donald Trump tries to implement for Americans' safety is not only met with a great deal of resistance from the left, but also from defiant judges who block his progress. We saw this several times with Trump's travel ban from terrorist-tied countries, and now we're seeing it with regards to so-called sanctuary cities. Judges are discussing their clear liberal bias as judicial rulings, and now tensions over this illegal immigrant issue have put America at the breaking point, edging on civil, a civil war. However, one prominent appeals court judge who ceremoni ceremoniously struck down Trump's travel ban in a clear act of defiance just met his own demise. When liberal judge Alex Kozinski wasn't busy flipping uh, the proverbial bird at our president with his defiant decisions, he was hiding something much worse from his pretentious perch on the stand. Turns out Kozinski had a lot of secrets under that black robe of his, and now they all just came back to haunt him under the most shocking circumstances. This new movement that is sweeping the nation, taking aim at holding powerful men accountable for sexual harassment, misconduct, and assault, has now named a prominent liberal jurist as a serial harasser. It's now being reported that six former far-left liberal Ninth Circuit clerks and externs are now saying that the liberal judge Alex Kaczynski subjected them to sexual comments and unwelcome situations. Washington Post, multiple women say appeals court judge Alex Kaczynski asked them to watch porn or subjected them to sexually inappropriate comments. One of the former Kaczynski clerks, Heidi Bond, who was his clerk between 2006 and 2007, had gone on the record with allegations that on multiple occasions the judge summoned her alone to his chambers, chambers in order to show her pornography, which was unrelated to any case before the judge. He then asked if the images turned her on. Bond recounts at least three different instances of being shown porn by her boss and says the experiences were shocking. She also had written an extremely disturbing first-person account of her experiences of clerking for Judge Kaczynski, where she also details Kaczynski isolating her from her co-workers or, or co-clerks to discuss his sexual uh, history. The Washington Post reports Judge Alex Kaczynski of the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit pictured in 2003 six women, all former clerks or externs in the Ninth Circuit, alleged to the Washington Post in recent weeks that Kaczynski, now 67, subjected them to a range of inappropriate sexual conduct or comments. A former clerk for Judge Alex Kaczynski said the powerful and well-known jurist, who for many years served as chief judge of the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit, called her into his office several times and pulled up pornography on his computer, asking if she thought it was photoshopped or if it aroused her sexually. Heidi Bond, who clerked for Kaczynski from 2006 to 2007, said the porn was not related to any case. One set of images she remembered was of college-age students at a party where some people were inexplicably naked while everyone else was clothed. Another was a sort of digital flip book that allowed users to mix and match heads, torsos, and legs to create an image of a naked woman. Bond is one of six women, all former clerks, or more junior staffers known as externs in the Ninth Circuit, who alleged to the Washington Post in recent weeks that, uh, okay, view in his chambers. In a statement, Kaczynski said, I have been a judge for 35 years and during that time have 
had over 500 employees in my chambers. I treat all of my employees as family and work very closely with most of them. I would never intentionally do anything to offend anyone and it is regrettable that a handful have been offended by something I may have said or done. Kaczynski provided the statement after the Post called and emailed the spokesman with a detailed list of the allegations this story would include, after the story posted online, the judge told the Los Angeles Times, I don't remember ever showing pornographic materials to my clerks, and if this is all they are able to dredge up after 35 years, I'm not too worried. When Bond was clerking, Kaczynski was on the precipice of becoming chief judge for the Ninth Circuit, the largest federal appeals court circuit in the country, handling cases for a large swath of the western United States as well as Hawaii and Alaska. Other people who alleged that Kaczynski behaved inappropriately towards them worked in the Ninth Circuit both before and after her up to 2012. Bond said she knew that she was to come to the judge's office when her phone beeped twice. She said she tried to answer Kaczynski's inquiries as succinctly and matter-of-factly as possible. Bond was uh, then in her early 30s and is now 41. If the question was about photoshopping, Bond said, she would focus on mirror details of the images. If Kaczynski asked whether the images aroused her, uh, Bond said she would respond, no, this kind of stuff doesn't do anything for me. Is there anything else you need? She said she recalled three instances when the judge showed her porn in his office. I was in a state of emotional shock, and what I really wanted to do was be as small as possible and make as few movements as possible and to say as little as possible to get out, Bond said. Bond, who went on to clerk for the Supreme Court and now works as a romance novelist writing under the name Courtney Milan and another clerk, Emily Murphy, who worked for a different judge on the Ninth Circuit and is now a law professor, described their experiences in on the record interviews. The other four women spoke on the condition that their names and some of their identifying information not be published out of fear that they might face retaliation from Kaczynski or others. Kaczynski, who served as the chief judge on the Ninth Circuit from 2007 to 2014, remains a prominent judge well known in the legal community for his colorful written opinions. His clerks often uh, win prestigious clerkships at the Supreme Court. Murphy, who uh, clerked for Judge Richard Paez, said Kaczynski approached her when she was talking with a group of other clerks at a reception at a San Francisco hotel in September of 2012. The group had been discussing training regimens, and Murphy said she commented that the gym in the Ninth Circuit Courthouse was nice because other people were seldom there. Kaczynski, according to Murphy and two others present at the time who spoke to the Post, said that if that were the case, she should work out naked. Those in the group tried to change the subject, Murphy and the others pr uh, present said, but the judge kept steering the conversation towards the idea of Murphy exercising without clothes. It wasn't just clear that he was imagining me naked. He was trying to invite other people, my professional colleagues, to do so as well, Murphy said. That was what was humiliating about it. Murphy, who was 30 at the time of the incident and is now 36, provided the Post with a 2012 email showing that she told a member about what had happened at the time. Two of Murphy's friends, who were present at the time of the encounter, speaking on the condition of anonymity, also confirmed her account. Now, that's it. But then again, what else can we expect from a judge from the infamous Ninth Circuit Court, who is known for its radical far-left agenda leanings? 
No wonder the Ninth Circuit wants Muslim refugees in this nation. They act the same way the judges act. It seems that for every right-wing leaning man who is accused of sexual misconduct, there are at least 100 liberal men accused of the same or worse. This whole time, all these institutions were being run as brothels and not one person in the outside world ever knew. They tell us how to think and what is and isn't moral, while at the same time their stench of immorality is off the charts. Please share if you agree this judge needs to be in prison. He looks like a psychopath, this judge. And if he's left-leaning, you know, guarantee he's a psycho. And these are all the people on the left. These are who they are. And did you get a load of that Jones guy that won in Alabama? He looks just as disgusting as this one. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.